So now we're going to learn all about bunions with board certified podiatrist and foot surgeon, Dr. Brad Schaefer, co-star on TLC's My Feet Are Killing Me. Welcome to the show, Dr. Brad Schaefer. Wow, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me. Do you like to go by Dr. Brad or Dr. Schaefer? Uh, on the show, they call me Dr. Brad, but uh, it's actually Dr. Schaefer. Okay, so we'll go with Dr. Schaefer. All right, cool. So we're going to talk about bunions. And yes. can you share with us exactly what a bunion is and how someone gets one? Absolutely. A, a bunion is that thing on the side of your foot that kind of protrudes out and creates that bump look. Um, it can be very painful. Um, and in our world, it's called hallux valgus. Um, it's a mouthful, but it really just means that the bone in the midfoot, which is called your metatarsal, goes off to the side, and then the toe goes to the inside, creating that bump. When that bump appears, it can be unsightly, and it can be very painful. Yeah, and I know it's it's very common, right? Super common. Um, mm -hmm. It's one of the main things that we treat um, as podiatrists. Uh, a lot of people, they either want it taken care of because it's affecting the quality of their life. They can't fit into shoes, you know, or they just don't like the way that it looks. And you can get that nice and straight and like it was never there. So it's it's uh, it's a it's a great uh, thing for podiatry and we can really help a lot of people with it. So there are great things out there for it. Right. So let's talk about what are the options if you have a bunion. And and are you were talking about I guess different um, I guess levels of the the size and how it's affecting you and like can you expand on that a little bit? Absolutely, bunions can be mild, moderate, or severe. Um, you know, mild would be like the little baby bumps that you get on the inside of the foot, and that can be taken care of um, with just wearing inserts in the shoes. You know, you can get custom inserts at your local podiatrist, or you can get over-the-counter inserts like Dr. Scholl's. Those are great, too. Anything to just support your arch and foot is really going to help those bones so they don't curve in. And like we were saying, you know, when during our first intro, it's your, your feet are your foundation. Um, and there are bodies stability and shock absorbers. So if you support them properly, you're really going to help yourself out today and in the long run. Right. So let's talk about surgery. When is it necessary to get surgery? For sure. So sometimes surgery is necessary. And, you know, whether you have a mild, moderate or severe bunion, there are a variety of different options out there. There's a lot of really cool ones, you know, that we do at my office. Uh, what you can do is you can do this really amazing procedure. It's called a 3D lapoplasty procedure. And that you're actually taking the whole construct of the bunion and shifting it into a corrected position. You almost think of like the leaning tower of Pisa, right? If you fix that at the base, you're not really gonna have a lot of tourists come and visit it, but it's going to be a perfect building, right? That's what you yeah. want for the bunion. You wanna fix it at the base so it's perfectly straight, so it never comes back. It's my favorite procedure out there that I do for bunions. Um, and I honestly think a lot of people are gonna be happy with the result. It's an absolute game changer. Okay, so two two things. One, are there shoes that you can wear uh, if you do have bunions? And the second thing is if you need to have surgery, how long are you usually out of commission? Because I bet there are a lot of people out there that, that don't go through with it because they're afraid of how long they're going to be out of commission. 100%. It's actually one of the the most. Um, mm -hmm. So just to start with shoes, there's so many different shoes out there that accommodate bunions. And if you aren't a surgical candidate, you can get into these shoes. There's high heeled shoes out there that people can wear. And it almost looks like the bunion doesn't even exist. It kind of goes into a nice point with cushion. It's a fantastic um, option for people that aren't surgical candidates or just don't want it. Um, but if you do need surgery, some of the minimal invasive surgery, you're you're on your feet the next day. You're walking out of the office. It's an outpatient surgery. It's very straightforward, and the patients are really happy with it. If the bigger surgery is needed, it takes a couple weeks to start moving around, but you're same day walking out of the hospital. Um, sometimes you'll need you know crutches or a knee scooter, 
but it literally is a seamless process and patients are so happy afterwards. Yeah. And, and listen, in the long run, you are so much happier because when we can use our feet without pain, what a gift, what a gift. Absolutely. So, you can you get so back much. to doing what you love. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much for coming on the show. Where can we find more about you? I appreciate that, Marcy. Uh, well, listen, you can you can find me at on Instagram at doctor.bradley. Um, you can check me out on TLC. My feet are killing me. Um, that's that's fantastic for anyone suffering with foot problems. And you can check me out at my office, uh, Soul Podiatry NYC on 85th and Central Park West in New York City. Awesome. Well, thank you again for coming on the show and giving us such valuable information. Have a great one. Anytime. Bye -bye. Thanks, Marcy. Appreciate it.